It's spelled food with Kataka Creations. This episode, a Christmas pudding. Now the sewing tomato tells us we need the following felts and threads, plus your fabric scissors. Now let's get started with our brown felt. Grabbing a round object, here's my Christmas tin. I'm going to place it down flat onto my felt and using a white pencil, I'm going to trace out the circle. Then grabbing my fabric scissors, I'm going to cut out my large circle. Next, I want to grab my brown thread and I'm going to double thread it as usual with all Kardaka Creations felt projects and I'm going to create a knot at the end. Then what I want to do is trim off the excess thread and start my running stitch. We're going to do a running stitch around the whole edge of this big circular piece and then we're going to gather the stitches and make like a little kind of dumpling thing that will probably look a little bit like a shower cup. So you want to go ahead and do this about one centimeter away from the edge and make your stitches about half a centimeter long. At some point you might feel like you're running out of thread so just gather all your stitches together. And here you have your mini shower cap which we're now going to stuff with toy filling. So stuff it right up so it's nice and round and compact. Then we want to make it nice and tight. So keeping your thread and needle really tight what we want to do is we want to create um, closed stitches across the top of that hole. As you can see, I'm going from one side to the other side of our funky dumpling shape. Eventually, you'll be able to see hardly any toy stuffing, so it'll be nice and tight and plump and round. And what we want to do is we want to secure the thread by doing a hook and loop, as shown in the video. For extra security, we want to do this twice and then you can just chop off your excess thread. Next is icing time, so you want to grab a pencil and make a squiggly shape over some white felt and cut it out. You may need to change the shape when you actually cut it out according to what size your pudding is. Then pick up your needle and thread, this time white thread, double threaded of course, and we're going to start sewing our icing to our pudding. As you can see, we want the knot to be secured in the middle of the pudding so it will be hidden for later on. Then we want to do a hidden ladder stitch, but first we want to tack the icing to the pudding, so just do a little through and through stitch there. Now the hidden ladder stitch you can see in my know how to sew video, but what you want to do is you want to place your needle between the layers of the white felt so you don't see the stitching of it on the outside. And then take a nick of brown felt, and then a nick of white felt and brown felt, and eventually you'll get something that looks like this. Now you'll want to make sure that you leave one flap open because we want to use that space to hide stitching. Moving on, it's time to make our decorations. So I'm just cutting out two little leaves that I hand drew, and then I'm going to cut out two round circles and we're going to make some little berries. To make these berries, we're just going to use the same technique that we did to make the pudding. So we're going to do a running stitch around the edge and then gather our stitches and stuff it with the tiniest bit of toy fluff. Now that's done, we want to attach our berries and leaves to the top of our pudding. So what we need to do is we need to, with our thread still attached, grab one of the leaves and just poke it through the needle and attach it to the berry like so. Then we want to decide where we want to place it on top of our pudding and then taking our needle and thread you want to take a nick of white felt then pull our thread tight and you'll see that the berry is placed on top but it's a little bit wobbly so we want to attach it to the icing in about two or three other places as well to make it nice and secure. When you've made it secure we want to secure the thread so you want to push the needle through to the underside of the icing at that flap that we left open beforehand. And then you just want to cut your thread off and tie a knot. Now you just do exactly the same thing with the second berry and leaf. And this time when you want to secure the thread, you need to do a hook and loop knot method. And do this twice to make sure everything's really secure. Then all you got to do is cut off your excess thread and now it's time to patch up our icing. We do this simply by continuing our hidden ladder stitch as 
before. Taking a little bit of brown felt and taking a little bit of white felt. And we want to make this as neat as possible so we don't see any of our thread stitching. Once you've gotten back to where you started and all your icing is secure, we do a very tiny hook and loop knot to make everything tight and secure. And then what we gotta do is we just gotta tie up some loose ends. So we wanna push the needle through to the other sides of the pudding and simply let it emerge just alongside the edges of the icing. Doing this will leave the ends of the thread inside the pudding because as you can see here we just need to squeeze the pudding and then chop off the excess thread, pump the pudding up and voila! Your Christmas pudding is complete! 